Hi everyone, Sam here from My My Needle, back to give you an update on what I've stitched on since I last checked in with you. I hope everyone is well, and thank you to those that are returning to check in with me, and thank you to those that are just finding me for the first time. Um, this channel is obviously about cross stitch, and I am a New Zealand cross stitcher, uh, in the lower part of the North Island near Wellington in a place called Carterton. So just a little bit about me, what's been going on. Um, husband has just taken all the kids out and dropping all their friends back at the house. We had a house full last night. So we had two teenagers and two pre-teens I'll call them. So I was up late with them and then I slept in a little. So, um, cross stitch wise, um, since I last saw you, I spent about a week where I didn't do anything, and since then I have been working on a fair bit of whips. Um, so, all I have today is just, I'll go through my whips, I have no haul, and then it will be just um, one new start, well, restart that I've just started this morning, so I can show you the 20 odd stitches I've done in that. Um, yeah, that's it. Mm. Right, uh, first piece I'll show you is an a Judith bag. This is um, my Jardin Privé piece. It is cat lovers. Sorry, mind blank. I'm stitching this on a piece of 28 count Regana um, in the colour Mushroom by Country Stick here in New Zealand. It was a part of my Rainbow Club. I'm stitching this all with the Called For DMC. And this is it here. So that is one complete page done, and since I saw you last, I've finished this big motif. So, so I'm hooked on that one. Yes, I have to put stuff away as I go. Another piece um, I've been working on, which I keep in this bag that I stitched up myself and this is the Laurie Holt um, It's Oema Eat Sleep Stitch Repeat Pattern that I just uh, stitched up on some 28 count Lugana that's got the opalescent and just sewed on the front. And the lovely Judith very kindly gave me the zipper and zipper pull for this one along with the interfacing for the bag. But in here I keep um, my Laurie Holt Flea Market Flowers. Stitching this with the Cold For fabric on, no, Cold For thread, sorry, on a piece of 28 count Lugana again by Country Stick in the colour Hokey Pokey. And I keep all my um, threads on the Floss Keeper. So this is all the DMC. It's called for. I haven't changed anything. So it's on the um, real thick plastic, and then I use the husband's label maker and put the DMC numbers on the back. So um, I was stitching this down at the cross stitch retreat in Christchurch a couple of weeks ago. So before I left for that, I um, get rid of that. I stitched all the border in. And then I finished that one down in Christchurch, started this square, and I just finished it off. So that's it done there. So by me doing all the border and the squares, all the doodads, it means I can pick any block I want to and work on. And you can see the mottling in the fabric, which is really cool. I picked this one because it kind of reminds me of a, a like dirt, so like a garden, if only that. So that's that one. Um, 
another piece I have been working on, which I keep in another, another Judith bag. Um, this grumpy cat here is my grumpy cat. And in here I actually use the stitching buddy, the matching one, which again, grumpy cat. And in the stitching buddy here I, um, I keep my needles. It's a magnet there and felt so I can lay my threads on there. But I keep all the Krynik and the loose DMC I haven't wound on a bobbin. So I was actually working on this, uh, I worked on this twice since I last saw you. This is my Nora Corbett Pansy. Stitching this one on 32 count white, uh, just a white Jobelin or Lugana, no I think it's Jobelin. And I'm just going to put this behind. So there she is in all her glory so far. So this is the top, uh, middle, and I stitch my way down to the bottom because I'm a bottom up stitcher and then came back up. So last night I, what did I do last night? Oh, I filled in over here, done the cryonic in here and the blends and a little bit up here. So I filled in more of the bottom. So I've been picking a colour down the bottom and just stitching it till that thread runs out and then pick the less, uh, next, less, no, the next most bottom um, colour that hadn't been stitched and then just doing that. That's quite cool. And I've got all the um, beads and treasures for that. So that was a 2019 birthday present, this one. So I thought I should get this one done so I can work on my 2020, which start, birthday start, which I've done sod all on. Um, can't remember if I started this or not last time. I think I did. But I'm doing the Blackbird, um, Spell of the Moon, I believe it's called. Yes. I'm stitching this um, on a piece of 32 count linen, which is not something I've stitched on. No, 36 count linen. That the lo lovely Judith gave me. And I'm keeping in another stitching buddy. By the lovely Judith again. This is being done on... Autumn Field, yeah, Edinburgh Linen, 36 count. Uh, a piece of fabric. So that's the colour there. Um, just, here we go. And this is my little star in the corner. Mm -hmm. um, so I... I I only really work on this on Thursdays during the day when I work from home on my lunch break. So that is one, one thread of Black Crow by Gentle Art. So I'm using, I don't think that's too bad. That's my Thursday lunchtime stitch. Um, another piece I worked on a little bit yesterday. Oh, sorry, cat here. Is once again another Judith bag. And this is a Dimensions kit, Japanese garden. Um, I'm using all the kit stuff, so it's 16 count Ada. And I'm just down in this corner here. Yeah, it's 16 count light blue Ada. And this is where I'm up to. Just down here. So just done some more fill in. So the empty spots you see are blended um, multi strands, so like a four strand. 
but what I might do is I'm going to leave them um, towards the end of that section and do that whole lot in one hit. But I did grit it because it is a bit of a monster and I keep all my threads. Um, I cut up lid cards because DMs, let me see, Dimensions kit come, the threads come on a card and I just cut it up and kept, put them all in the floss away bags and numbered them all so I know which length what they are. And all that's left to show you is all the full coverages that I've been working on. Um, so the first one I have been working on is my Carolyn Manning Designs Beachcomber. So that's it there. Hang on. Let's see if I can. So I'm stitching this on um, 18 count Ada 1 over 1 in ivory. Uh, what percentage am I at? I am in now at 49.25%. It's almost halfway. So since last time I done the blue here and I've been doing the green bits that you see dotted around the screen. It's just an easy stitch because it's basically one colour, easy to follow. Um, I have also been working on open up the picture my quick stitch by heaven and earth um, tranquil tulips excuse the glare there we go this is being done on 25 count uh, two over one half stitch and since you've seen it last, I've put in 1,500 stitches. So all these threads hanging are just uh, my waist threads. So they will get cut off at the end or as I go. So since you I last checked in, uh, I've been picking a colour, the most furthest colour at the bottom obviously top up stitcher um, in the bottom row and working all that um, thread until it's finished and then picking the next one so I have filled in I can actually show you all the devices today because I don't want to get it so on the 24th of May uh, you can see all the empty spaces and now so a lot in this leaf along here all the blue um, that's actually stitched in that's not empty so the next stitch is this bottom one over here I need to do so yeah Coming along, um, it's almost sixty percent, I believe. Hey, the next one I pulled out, I haven't worked on in a long time, so I thought, why not? Uh, this one is by, oh, oh, who's this one by? Country Magic Stitch it is Jurassic Park. Okay. This one is doing getting done on 25 count one over one full cross. 
and I put in 400 stitches on this yesterday. So yesterday I, I don't know if you can see, stitched the rest of the blue down here for the C that was hanging. And then I came up and there's two greens in there. So this light green and this darker green. So that was just shy of 400 on that one. And then my last one, um, where is it? which is my Hade Restart. So I originally was stitching this on 18 count Ada 2 over 1, and it was too thick, and I hated it. And it is. Hubble Bubble Ornament by Lisa Parker. This is another Heaven and Earth Designs. And then I restarted this on 25 count, 2 over 1 half stitch. And I was trying the diagonal method and I hated it. Um, because I started at the top. And that's not how I like to stitch. So this morning I unpicked everything on the 25 count I had started. And I've restarted, and this time I'm starting at the bottom. I'm giving diagonal um, stitching a go again, but I'm doing one over one. So full cross on this one. And this is what I'm up to. So there's like 20 stitches, you can't really see because they're light. Got some green and a ninja one up here. So I'm just working in this diagonal. And I thought I'd give it a go and see how I like it. So far, so good. Um, a lot of colours changes um this is i know this is the path down the bottom and the stone so it's a little bit confetti heavy so i think once i get through that and i know there's a big whack of black somewhere up here so it might go a bit quicker so that was about half hour stitching while i was figuring that out but that's all i've done um as i said i've got no haul i have ordered some stuff but that won't be here for a while because it's coming from one two three stitch but yeah, um, I have got a new knitting project, um, which I actually haven't shown you. I have finally started the um, Hitchhiker Shawlette that everyone else was doing. I know it's black and white, you can't really see it, but it's the one with the teeth along the bottom. I'm stitching this with um, a massive uh, ball of yarn. I'm so tired, brain moment. Um, I know the colour is called Summer Nights and you get it from Spotlight here in New Zealand. And this is my little start. I didn't think it was too bad. You have to do 41 teeth. What have I done? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 teeth. And you're supposed to do 41. But I thought I'll just keep going until I basically run out of this. So this is a uh, long time project. Long term. And that's it. And that's all the stitching and crafting I have been doing. Um, shit. As I said, I had a week where I didn't do anything. Um, I was quite tired from work. And, yep, yeah, so tomorrow uh, here in New Zealand is Queen's birthday. Not the actual Queen's birthday, but it's the weekend that we celebrate the Queen's birthday. So, I think tonight we're taking the kids up to the light show that's at one of the local parks. Um, so, I'm going to do that. And then tomorrow I need to finish a paper. And submit that for my study. I'm halfway, so hopefully I can smash out the rest tomorrow and do some stitching this afternoon. Or I'm gonna do a stitch. That's it. Quick and easy. Thanks guys. Thanks for coming and checking out uh, what I've been up to. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.